one of the chapters in my book, I talked about the way that, you know, if democracy is struggling um, in the form of governments and, and, and our civic ways of organizing ourselves, and if corporations are increasingly, as you say, taking up significant chunks of our lives and our time and our, and our energy, why don't we try to manifest more democratic principles within organizations? And, and you know, Tracy Fenton has that competition for the world's most democratic organization. And I think those w willing to engage the possibilities of these networked ways of working will have a much more representative, if you like, way of working as a corporation. And this, this is my hope. I mean, this is why I work with some people that, you know, maybe people wonder why I'm working with them. But if I can just enable small cracks in the, in the surface to, to expand and allow some of this to, to happen, then that's a good thing. And I'm just reading a really good article yesterday about, you know, the end of, or the, 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 the morphing of democracy, how it's really fundamentally changing and how, you know, left to centre parties are just struggling for definition and right-wing parties are, are becoming more popular in some parts of Europe as things get tougher. And, you know, it's clear that there's a lot of things at the moment um, really struggling and not working. And I think human nature being such, we, we, will, we will work out a new way of doing things. Um, whether that's dependent on large corporations or not, I don't know. I'm not, you know. That was, I'd have worries about that as well. Just by the nature of how they're set up, you know, the whole thing about being there to, to maximise shareholder value and blah, blah, blah. You would, ha you would have to fundamentally rethink markets and the way they are driven and the values that they manifest before you could, I think, begin to trust the rest of society to them.